So if you haven't heard, I've been trying to warn people about the big purple monster that's currently attacking Excel. And no, I'm not talking about Barney. I'm actually talking about the new Office theme for 2023. Microsoft has rolled out this new color palette. And in this video, I'm gonna explain the differences between the old color palette and the new one, along with font and theme colors. We're also gonna look at how to migrate to the new theme or revert back to the old one, how to set defaults, and some shortcuts to save you time. All right, so jumping into Excel here, here is a workbook with the new theme applied. And the first place you're probably going to see this is on either the uh, font color menu or the fill color menu here. Here you can see the new themes. And the reason I call it the purple monster is because the purple color, the new purple color here, stands out the most to me. So it's definitely a more vibrant uh, color palette here. On this uh, sheet over here, I have a comparison between the old colors from 2013 to 2022 and the new color theme here. So there are some differences. Uh, we lose the yellow color and really in place of this purple color, the purple color replaces it. We now have two shades of green instead of just the one before. The oranges and the blues really kind of stay the same. The palette is just a bit more vibrant. So I'm curious to know what you think about this. So leave a comment below and let us know what you think about this new theme. Another place you can see it is on the table styles menus. And this is really a great place to look because as you can see, this is the old theme here. And again, we have those colors, but you can kind of see them applied to different scenarios here with different tables. And then the new theme here with again, these more vibrant colors. And along with new colors, we also get new fonts. So you can see those here side by side. The old Calibri and Cambria fonts are now replaced with Aptos Narrow and Aptos Display. And you can also see that right here on the font drop-down menu. We have Aptos Narrow as the default body font and Aptos Display is the default heading font. Now, uh, Aptos Narrow is very similar to Calibri. It's just a little bit taller, which makes it a little bit easier to read in my opinion, but it's about the same width. One other notable difference here is that that if we look at the lowercase l in Aptos, it now has that little tail on it, which makes it a little easier to distinguish between a capital I. You can see this same word up here when Calibri, the I and the L were always a bit tough to distinguish unless they're right there side by side. And again, I'm curious to know your thoughts on this, so leave a comment below and let us know what you think of these new fonts. And one other noticeable difference is default line widths on shapes. So here I have some shapes side by side from the old theme and the new theme. And as you can see, the border and line width here is just a little bit thicker on the new theme. And of course, with inserting shapes, you just go to the insert tab here, shapes, and then you can choose any shape. I'll just choose this rectangle and draw it out. And with that shape selected on the shape format tab, you can go to shape outline here and weight and the default weight is now one and a half points where it used to be one point. Now, at first I didn't like this. I actually liked the thinner line better, but as I've been using it more, it's grown on me. And I think that the, especially with the arrows and lines, they are much easier to see and read. All right, so now let's talk about migrating to the new theme or reverting back to the old one. Because my guess is you're either gonna love this new theme or hate it, or your boss is gonna love it or hate it. And you're either gonna have to migrate to it or revert back to the old one. So it's very important to note that your existing Excel files are not automatically going to be updated to the new theme. You have to do that manually. And this is a good thing. So here I have a file that I created way back in like 2015. This is actually part of our pivot tables and dashboards training series. I'll put a link in the description below to the video on that. But this is an old file with the old theme. And if I wanted to update it to the new theme, I can easily do that by just going in here to page layout and then right here on themes, you'll see that this is the new theme. It's just called Office. The old theme has now been renamed to Office 2013 to 2022. That's the one that's currently selected. And so in order to uh, apply the new one, I just have to click this Office button. And when I do that, I can see that the colors have changed. Now, there's some color changes here that are more drastic than others. As you can see, this purple color was blue before and it's now purple. Another way to see that, again, I'll flip back over here to this file that I have. I'll make this file available for free download. I'll put a link in the description below to that. But here we can see on the table styles menus, the old theme here, uh, and then the new theme down below. And these are the direct translations. So if you were using this blue color a lot before, that's now gonna be converted to this purple color. Uh, yellow will be blue and gray will be green. And really all the others are just different shades of the same color. So there's three kind of major changes there. Again, to me, purple is the most drastic one. I think especially for, for men that were looking for a masculine color and might have used this blue color a lot, it'll now uh, change to purple. And I have a side by side here 
uh, as well. So it's just something to be aware of, especially if you were using more masculine colors. I'm not someone that would normally wear a purple shirt, so I was usually looking for more masculine colors, and that will now change to what I consider to be a more feminine color. But again, uh, this might be a great change for you and you might be celebrating this, so uh, it's just something to be aware of. All right, so now let's talk about reverting back and also working between applications because this is where I actually experienced and found the new theme. I was copying some data from Excel over to PowerPoint and the colors were changing. And when that first happened, I thought maybe my kids had gotten a hold of my computer and somehow changed the default theme, uh, but that wasn't the case. Microsoft rolled out a new theme without warning, but that's okay, I'm on the beta uh, version of Excel. So anyways, over here in PowerPoint, I just have a blank uh, new workbook or new uh, PowerPoint file. I'm just gonna add a new blank slide here. And I'm gonna go over to Excel. And again, in this Excel file, I've reverted it back to the old theme, the original theme. And then I'm going to select this chart here. I'm just gonna hit Control C to copy that. I'll go over here to PowerPoint and then paste it. And as you can see, the colors have changed. We now have the purple bars instead of the blue. And there's a few ways to handle this. Of course, with PowerPoint, you can uh, choose these paste options here, and then you can use the default theme. So you notice that by default, it's used destination theme, but you can change that back to keep source formatting. And there's a few options for that. So you can keep the source formatting here and also keep the source formatting here. And if you chose that option, that would change it back to the blue color. However, everything else you add to the PowerPoint slide around this will still be on the new theme. So even if I was to change this back to keep source formatting, I'll just do that now. You can see it's changed to blue, but if I was to just start kind of building out this and maybe I wanna add a title up here, so I'll go insert and then I'll go to shapes and put something here and then I'm gonna add a title about this chart here. Everything here is the new theme. And if I select this uh, box here, you can see it's Aptos body. If we look at the different options here, it's the new color theme. So this presents kind of a mixed environment and I don't think this is ideal at all. So the way to fix this is to just change the theme back in PowerPoint. And that is done by going to the design tab up here and you'll see that we have the themes and you could just hit the drop down here to see all the themes and the old theme right here, Office 2013 to 2022, is down here. It's kind of hard to find when you're first looking for it. It's not right next to the new theme for some reason. It's right down here. So you just have to select it and that will change everything in the uh, PowerPoint presentation back to the old theme. And PowerPoint works the same way as Excel. It's not going to automatically apply this new theme to existing PowerPoint files. You have to manually do that. Now, if you always wanna use the old theme, you can set it as the default. And you can do that in PowerPoint by just right-clicking on the old theme here and choose set as default. And that way, every time you create a new PowerPoint file, it will use the old theme. And changing themes and setting the default is similar in Word. On Word, you just go to the design tab here here you can see the themes and you can again uh, flip back to the old office theme. It's right next to the new one here. And then there's a button over here that says set as default. And that'll just set the old theme or whichever theme you have selected as the default. Now, unfortunately, Excel makes this process of setting the default theme a lot more difficult. You actually have to create a blank uh, workbook and set it as the old theme and then save it as an XLTX uh, template file and save that in the Excel start folder and then when you create a new workbook by pressing Control N on the keyboard, it will open up that new workbook with the old theme. But if you go File New, it won't. I'm hoping and praying that Microsoft fixes this before rolling out the theme uh, to all users on all channels to make it easier to set the default. For me personally, I am going to be using the new theme and set that as the default across all applications, so I'm not too worried about that. But there are gonna be a lot of scenarios where you're gonna be flipping back and forth or migrating to the new theme. So one shortcut for that is if you go to page layout here in Excel and then themes, you can right click this and choose add to quick access toolbar. I've already done that. And that's added to this button right up here. So I can easily just access this anytime and switch the theme. So if I need to switch back or I open up an old file and I need to switch to the new theme, I can quickly just access that here, click the theme that I want and everything will be migrated. And finally, a few other important things to note. The Power Query output tables will still be a green color. It's slightly different as you can see here, but this is a Power Query output with that green color. Uh, pivot table styles will also, of course, change a little bit. Here's both menus uh, side by side. The default style goes from this blue color to this blue, so no drastic changes there. 
On this sheet here, I do have a pivot table. And one other thing you'll note, at least right now, is when you change the theme, so I have the current new theme applied to this workbook here. I'll go up to my quick access toolbar and just change it to the old theme. And when I do that, you'll notice that the column widths actually get a little narrower. There's actually a little bit wider with the new theme applied for some reason. And we have just an issue here with the uh, column width not being wide enough. Of course, when you refresh this, if you have automatic uh, column sizing turned on, or you can just uh, double click here to resize these columns, that will all be cleaned up. But that's just one thing you might note when switching between themes, those column widths uh, are changing a little bit there. Hopefully that's just a bug that will also be fixed. And I should note that I'm on the beta channel for Microsoft 365, where this new theme has been rolled out, and it'll be rolling out to the other channels for Microsoft 365 in the coming months. I don't know the timing of that, so stay tuned to the Microsoft blog for more updates on that. I'll put a link in the description below with a link to that so you can stay updated and know when to expect this new theme. And again, I'm curious to know how you'll be using this. If you like it or hate it, are you gonna migrate all of your files to it? Uh, let us know in the comments below. And of course, let us know if you have any questions as well. Thanks again for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.